Hey there, it's the RV guys again, and it's been a hot minute. And a lot of people have been asking what's up with our trailer and if we're still in it or are we upgraded. So yes, we're still in our wolf pup and I'm going to give you guys a little tour with all the extra things we did in the past few months. So we're going to start in the bed area. Not as much has changed. We did add that uh, wallpaper. It sticks really good to this wall. I wouldn't say that about other walls, but uh, the curved wall over here, it was a little hard to lay it down and awkward, but it looks good. It sticks very well. It's been on for a few months now, um, and I'm very happy about that. Down here, we did switch our USB ports. And right above that, we do have a new on off switch. This switch is instead, originally we had a smart switch on our water heater. And a lot of places we got to, we were having not the best of internet, even with our Starlink. So I swapped it out for a switch that has two remotes. So one remote is next to the bed and then the other remote is in the bathroom. I'll share it with you guys in a little bit. Um, our fans are still up here. We absolutely love our fans. They did get uh, wired a lot nicer where the wires go up and inside the cabinet. The fans are absolutely amazing. They do have a little bit of a hum because um, the blades are metal and they're kind of a long blade. So if that bothers you, I would not suggest them. But if the noise does not bother you, then they're absolutely amazing and we highly, highly appreciate them. Down here on the side, we installed a new little light and that's connected to the switch that I installed for the water heater. So the second that I press on, on the water heater button, it will turn on that light and we know that the water heater is on and vice versa when I turn it off. It turns off and we know that the water heater is off. So that became very, very helpful. We, again, we don't like to have the water heater just running all the time. It takes about 30 minutes for the water heater to heat up to its max temperature. So we just turn it on every time kind of before we need it and turn it off once we finish. Our coffee bar is still the same. Up on top, everything's still the same. And the kitchen area, we did a new backsplash. These are kind of plastic and metal tiles. Um, and it wasn't as easy. It was very precisely cut and a lot of tools were needed. So if you're up for the challenge, it's worth it. But if not, it's, you know, it's a little hard. Um, I also did a black, the same kind of tile because um, I just didn't want it to be overwhelming, but I still wanted the backsplash on this side so it can protect, um, so I can easily clean. That's kind of the, the reason. And that's kind of it for the kitchen. I did add a uh, thermostat in the fridge. So that's just right here. On the other side, we have our new desk and chairs. We took out the benches and table. It was very unuseful for us. It took up a lot of space. We wanted the floor room. So that came out and this I made out of reclaimed wood and stained it. And the chairs are from Ikea. Under the chairs from Ikea, we do have um, new to us. Uh, these are also from Ikea. So this one's connected to the wall over here. And then we have another one over here that's connected to the wall. They store tons of paperwork and everything that's needed. So it's extremely useful. They're very slim to the wall, so they don't take up a lot of space. And we absolutely love them. Up on top, we really didn't change anything. We did add this new light. Um, so it's kind of a light and a dimmer and the switch is kind of touch. So it's really nice has blue and then white with the dimmer. Um, our new heater, we absolutely love it. It's right down here. It has a thermostat, so you turn it on. Well, right now it's not plugged in. You set it to the temperature you want and literally we just leave it here. And 
um, instead of using our furnace, because again, we do live in this full time and using propane full time is not ideal. It takes up a lot of propane if you're in a cold weathered area. Going into our bathroom, we do have a lot of updates. So first off, we did install this very nifty um, holder for the door. Sometimes, again, the trailer isn't 100% level. It's very annoying and obnoxious when the door constantly opens and closes. So we added that. It's just a magnet, magnets up, comes down, very, very convenient. It just sticks with double-sided tape to the door. The big update in the bathroom is our toilet. We have a new toilet and a new bidet. Um, this is a Dometic, I don't remember, I'll write in the description, porcelain toilet, absolute game changer. Um, when living in a trailer, a lot of things feel like they're children's toys. So we really tried to get everything out that felt plastic or at least too plasticky. So the toilet is a residential size um, seat, which is absolutely amazing. It has a nice flush. It is porcelain. It's easy to clean. We have a new bidet that's connected on it. That's also residential. We have our little bug zapper that is wired in that only turns on on a timer only at night. And then up we have a new backsplash and our new mirror. And we have our new faucet. So mirror has a little touch button to turn on the light behind it. Up on top, we have a clear shelf from Ikea that is for toilet paper. We have our shelves from Amazon and everything is just really nice and clean and really fun to have. In our shower, nothing changed, so I'm not even gonna bug you guys over there. Another thing in the bathroom that I almost forgot is we put the other switch for the water heater in here. That way, if you know we're in the bathroom, we want to turn it on, or if we finished our shower, we can immediately turn it off. They're really nice, they're magnetic. They kind of just, um, you put two screws and it slides in. It, when you press it, it does have a little light indicating that you pressed it. And again, our light next to the water heater tells us if the water heater is on or off. The other big, big difference that we have is we did install the thermostat AC. Instead, we had prior installed a smart switch on the AC that we had, and it would turn off and on the AC. But again, with Wi-Fi and internet not being as st stable as we would like, it was never perfect. So this works amazing with the app. And we're extremely happy because it turns off. We can set it to a specific temperature. We don't have to guess what temperature we're going to, how freezing we're going to be at night. So we're absolutely um, extremely happy about that. So that about wraps it up. I hope you guys enjoyed looking at our trailer again, seeing the upgrades we did. Um, I'll try to put more stuff in the description out of everything we have. If you guys missed our upgrades that you guys see around us and I didn't talk about them. You can look at videos that we had prior and you'll see all the description. I do talk about every single thing we have, but I don't want to repeat myself. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And if you can, if you do purchase things, um, please use our links down below. We do get a little cut from it. Um, nothing that will make us rich, but just something that at least uh, make us feel good for making the videos. Thank you and have a great day. Hopefully you enjoyed this short video. If you did, like, share, and subscribe. Have a great day.